Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. Okay, this is lesson 31. Construct a square and a nine point circle. Okay, classwork opening exercise says, with a partner, use your construction tools and what you learned in lessons one through five to attempt the construction of a square. Once you are satisfied with your construction, write the instructions to perform the construction. Okay, so this is a review. So you'd have to go back and look at lessons one through five. See if you can figure out, so flip, 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 look back. See if you can figure this out, pause the video, see if you can do it, and then come back and we'll go over the steps. Okay, so here we go. Step one, extend line segment AB on either side of AB. So in other words, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna follow these steps. So I'm gonna draw a line segment like so. And it says to extend the line segment on either side of AB. And actually let me move this down further because I've got the instructions coming out. So I'll put it down here. So it says to extend line segment AB on either side of AB. So what I would have to do first is put a dot here and call it A. Put a dot at the other end of the segment and call it B. And then extend it beyond using a ruler. So then I'd get my ruler out. Bring that down. and extend the side. Okay, so there it is. I extended AB on either side of A or and B. Okay, let me do both sides just so we have, let me just put it back where it was and extend it the other way. Okay, so now there's AB with it extended on both sides. Okay, step two. Construct the perpendicular to AB through A. Construct the perpendicular to AB through B. Okay, so we're going to get our compass out. Okay, bring that down. So if you want to construct a perpendicular through a point, you put your compass on the point you open the compass up a certain distance and you draw an arc on the line and then rotate it around the other side and draw an arc on that line. So we have these two arcs that cross the line and then you bring your compass point to the one arc and you bring your arc up like so and draw an arc. Actually, let me do it with a larger opening. I should have opened my compass before I did that. You want to go out a little further. Okay, so I'm going to rotate this around and I'm going to draw an arc here and down here. And then I'm going to move my compass to the other intersection, rotate it around near here, draw an arc, rotate it around up here draw an arc, and then take my ruler, straighten it up to the here, and bring it over like so. And there is my perpendicular. Okay, I was off a little bit. Let me just move this over. Again, when you're using um, electronics, it's not really that precise. That's pretty close right there, but that's how you draw the construction. Okay, so it says to construct the perpendicular AB through A, and then do the same thing through B. Okay, so my compass is on the point. I change the color. So I put an arc through here, bring it around here, and an arc here. And then open the compass up a little bit wider, bring it up here, and draw an arc above B and then bring it around the other side. 
No, I'm not doing that. Forget that. I've got the two arcs that intersect. I'm, I need to bring this over to this point now and draw an arc like so, and then bring it down here and draw an arc here. Bring the compass over to this point where it intersected with our first arc. Bring this over here and then draw a line or an arc. Bring this up here and draw the arc there. So there are our two arcs. And then just as close as we can to line up with our B and those intersection points like so. Okay, so that was B. Construct perpendiculars to A, B through A and a construct a perpendicular to A, B through B. So these are perpendiculars, so these are right angles. So you can see our square is beginning to shape up. <laughs> and then we are going to go on to the next step. Construct circle A centered at A radius AB. Okay, let me switch to purple. So centered at A means this, your point on the A, rotate it around like so, open it up so that it's at B. So I'm gonna put it like on the line that I made. Okay, and it says to construct the circle. So that means go all the way around like so. So there is a circle, radius AB centered at A, and then construct circle B centered B with the same radius. So I'm not going to change my compass, I've already set it up and I'm going to draw a circle here, like so. Okay, so that's done. The only problem with this is we now need to extend our segment because it has to intersect. That's why we just did that. We want our line to go through because this distance has to be the same as this distance because that's the definition of a square. All sides are congruent, equal in length. So then I'm gonna put my ruler back here, switch to green and extend my segment here going up through. So that's that. Okay, so that's that step. Next step, select one of the points where circle A, radius AB, that's this circle, meets the perpendicular through A. So that's up here. I'm gonna do it up here. I don't wanna be down in the Eureka stuff here. And call that point D, okay? So I'm going to put a point right here. And that is D. In the same half plane as D. In other words, on this side of AB, don't go down to this over here where B meets the perpendicular through B. All right, so that's right here. Select the point where B meets the perpendicular through B and call that point C. Well, that is right here and that'll be called C. So when they say on the same half plane, they don't want you to be below AB and down at this point here calling that C because obviously that won't be a square. Okay, so I just did that. So here's A, B, C, D. And now you can see the outline of the square. We're just missing one side. And it says draw segment C, D. So then I get my ruler. Okay, rotate it. Bring it over here. And construct segment C, D. And there is our square, A, B, C, D. Okay, so that's how you construct a square. Okay, page two brings us to an exploratory challenge and it says, now we're going to construct a nine point circle. What is meant by the phrase a nine point circle? I didn't think circles had any points. Hmm, what's a nine point circle? Okay, it is a circle that contains a set of nine points. So it's a circle with nine points on it. So steps to construct a nine point circle are as follows. Draw a triangle ABC. So I will just draw a random triangle. And I'm not gonna use my triangle tool because that'll only create 
isosceles or right triangles. And I just want a regular uh, triangle with no 90 degree angles and no two sides or angles alike. So there it is, there's my triangle. Let me group it so it's all one piece and then I can move it around. Okay, so there's my triangle. Step one, draw a triangle ABC. So I haven't labeled it yet. So let me do that. Okay, so here we go. We'll click there, here is A, here is B right here, and this is C. So draw a triangle ABC. Construct the midpoints of the sides AB, BC, and CA and label them, L, them as L, M, and N respectively. So I'm going to get my uh, compass. And I'm going to put my compass point on A, like so. Rotate it, open it more than halfway, and create an arc. Move it to B. Leave it the same open, the same radius, and do this. And then move it out of the way. And as you can see, I get my ruler. They always throw it at the top of the screen. I wish there was a way not to do that, but oh well. So anyway, and then I draw a line lining up these two intersections of these arcs. Okay, it's paying very close attention to accuracy. So there's my segment. So this is the midpoint of AB right here. So I'll put a dot there and I'll label that L. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for the other two sides. And to save time, I'll just pause the video so that it's there when we come back. Okay, so here they are and it is a mess. So as you can see, here is the perpendicular bisector all in black. And for BC, the perpendicular bisector construction is all in blue. And to find the perpendicular bisector construction is all green for AC. And I labeled them L, M, and N as it says right here. So just to show you the construction, now I'm going to move those and get them out of the way. Clean this up, if you will. And there they are. So there's L, M, and N, which are bisectors of every single side, all three sides midpoints. Done. Construct the perpendicular from each vertex to the opposite side of the triangle. Each is called an altitude. So I want to draw a line that is perpendicular to BC from A. I want to draw a line from C to L that is perpendicular to AB. And I want to draw a line perpendicular coming from vertex B down to AC. Okay. Okay, so to do a perpendicular from a point off a line, we want to, so I'll do the line from B perpendicular first. So you put your compass point at the vertex B, like so. Rotate your compass, open it from far enough so that it will cross that line two times. I'm gonna close that just a little. So as you can see, I'm crossing AC right here and I'll cross AC again right here. So I will draw that arc like so. And now I have two intersection points, one being right here. And then I'm going to draw an arc down here from that point. And then without changing the measure of my radius or the how wide this is open, that's my radius, I'm not changing that. Move the point to the other intersection and draw an, another arc. So there they are. And then I take my ruler rotate, bring it up, put it at B, and rotate it to 
that those intersections and draw the perpendicular down like so. I'm going to keep going through though. I'm going to extend this beyond. Okay, I'm going to just make it one. So there it is. And I'm going to do that for all three sides. So I'm just going to repeat this off screen. When I come back, they'll be done. Okay, so in doing this one, I want to show you something here. I set this up. I've got my point at A. And I go to do an arc here, and there is no way I'm going to hit BC in two places. See how far over I am? And the reason is angle B is obtuse. Okay, so that's something I had forgotten. When I created this triangle, I wasn't thinking ahead of these steps. Here it says draw a triangle ABC. And actually, they should have been more specific and say draw an acute triangle ABC, because if you're going to do this and you want your perpendiculars to cross every side, you cannot have an obtuse angle because my, my perpendicular is going to be outside the triangle. Okay, but I'm kind of glad I did that because I wanted I want you to see that. So I'm actually going to start this whole process over and see that it does work for an acute triangle. So just bear with me. I'm going to delete everything, move this off to the side. I'm going to create a triangle. Make sure every angle is less than 90 degrees. Okay, so here's my acute triangle, step one. So really, I didn't get that far. It's not a big deal that I had to do this over, but it would have been nice if the directions were more clear. Draw an acute triangle ABC. Construct the midpoint of each side. So again, put your compass on A, be more than halfway and draw an arc, bring it over to B. Construct an arc. Get your ruler. And there's my midpoint right here. Okay, so there's the midpoint. So I was just re revisiting that. I will do the other two off screen. Okay, so just to show you, I've done it again. So these are the midpoints. I will delete. So the green constructions were for M, the blue constructions were for the point N, and the black constructions were for the point L. And I'll just del delete all of my construction. So if you were to do this on paper, it'd be like erasing your marks. It does get pretty cluttered if you don't. Okay, so there are my sides. N is the midpoint of AC, L is the midpoint of AB, and M is the midpoint of BC. Construct a perpendicular from each vertex to the opposite side of a triangle, each called an altitude. So to construct an altitude, if I put my compass at A, like so, rotate it, open it, and I need it to cross opposite side BC twice. Okay, so if I do that, I'm just crossing it two times, like one is right at B. So if I open it up any further, it's not going to cross. And if I close it anymore, it's not gonna cross at all. So I have to be pretty close to it, like, like here. So I will draw this now. And it did cross. That was close, because that's close to 90 degrees but the point is right here and right at about M, I will use M. So once you do that, you then put your compass 
on one of those points, create an arc without opening the compass at all, put it at the other point, create an arc. And then when you draw a line from your vertex A to that arc, it will be perpendicular to BC. Okay. Okay, so that segment I just drew from vertex A through the side BC is perpendicular right there. So and now I'm going to erase those marks. I don't want my intersection of my arc that I created or my arc. And I don't want these arcs here. So there is a perpendicular going through BC from A. We're going to repeat that. I'll just change colors. And now I'm going to, I don't want to use red because the triangle's red put my compass on C. The perpendicular is going to go through AB. So now I need to open my compass up just enough so that it crosses AB twice. Okay, so right here might do it. Let me look. So it's crossing there and it's crossing. Again, I might have to close it just so that it's hitting at B. So if I draw an arc from here, it crosses at B, and then again, right about here. So I'll use these two points, move my compass to this point here. Create an arc, move it to the other intersection point here, not necessarily L, it was right here. Make an arc and then bring my ruler over. I'll try to put zero right there because that's the rotation point of the ruler. Bring that to C and my segment is right about there. So that is a perpendicular to AB going from C down perpendicular to AB and continuing out the other side. So I will erase all of my construction marks now. And let's do it one more time. I'll make this one blue. So this time I need to go from B and make a perpendicular to AC. There's a dot there, let me erase that. So I put my compass on B, so put the point on B, rotate this around. It'll cross right here and again over here. So I'll make that arc. There's an intersection and there's an intersection. So the points are right here and right here. Okay, so now I put my compass on that point, make an arc, bring it over to the other point, make an arc, move my compass out of the way, bring my ruler zero to B, Rotate it so I'm lined up with my intersection. Draw a segment. And there is a perpendicular. So this is a perpendicular. The blue line is perpendicular to AC coming from the vertex B. Let me erase my construction marks. And there's my triangle with three altitudes. Okay, those are called altitudes. So three is done. Four, label the intersection of the altitude from C, from C to AB, the green one, label the intersection as D. So I'll put a D right here. That is D. 
the intersection of altitude from A to BC, which is right here, that's E. And the intersection from B to AC as F. So that's right here. Let me move my N over here. It's now, now I have two dots that are very close together. And one is F and one is N. Same with this here. Let me move my M away from E. Okay, so let me put this back. So there it is, that's set four, done. The altitudes are concurrent at a point, label it H. Concurrent means all meeting at the same point. That is right here. That is my H, done. Construct the midpoints of AH, BH, and CH. So now I wanna find the midpoints of these. Okay, so do, to do that, we just need, simply need to do a perpendicular bisector. I'll use purple for all of these and just erase as I go. So you put your compass at A. Come on. Rotate it. It's got to be more than halfway of AH, but not more than the length of AH. So that's more than halfway. Draw an arc up like this. Bring it to H. Do the same with the same radius. Do not change your compass. Where those two lines intersect will be my midpoint of AH. So that is right here. I will erase my constructions. And there's my point, that's the midpoint, and label them. So it said AH first, which I just did, and label it X. So this is X. And then I just need to repeat this two more times. Now with these shorter ones, it's going to be pretty difficult. So now I want to do BH. So B is here. So I'll have to close this further than halfway by estimation, closer to the end, but not longer than, so I'm gonna put an arc like so. I'm going to bring the point to H and do the same thing again. Draw an arc. There's the two arcs. This one's kind of tiny. and draw my segment where it intersected right here, right here is my BH midpoint Y. So this little point right here is Y. Let me erase my constructions. Not my point, this is gonna be difficult. There we go. Okay, so there's my point, um, and that is Y. Y is right here, the midpoint of BH, and I need to do this one more time. I need to find the midpoint of CH by putting the compass point on C, opening it further than halfway, creating an arc, moving that point over to H, 
creating an arc, bringing my compass or ruler over, rotate it, where those two lines arcs intersect would be the perpendicular bisector. Okay, and draw my line. This point right there is my last midpoint. So I'm going to delete my construction marks. There's my point, and I'm going to call that Z or Z. So here's X, midpoint of AH, here's Y, midpoint of BH, and here's Z, midpoint of CH. Done. Okay, done, done, done. The nine point L, M, N, D, E, F, X, Y, Z are the points that define the nine point circle. Okay, everything except H, as you can see. L, M, N, the three midpoints of each side. D, E, F, the three places the altitudes intersect the sides. And X, Y, Z are the three midpoints of the um, segments that go from the center to the point H. So if I now created a circle, centered somewhere and opened it up like this and brought it over, it needs to be a little bit bigger. As you can see, all those nine, all nine of those points are on that circle. And notice how the circle is sitting right inside that triangle. That is a nine point circle. Okay, here's page three, another example. It says on a blank white sheet of paper, construct a nine point circle using a different triangle than you use during the notes. Does the type of triangle you start with affect the construction of the nine point circle? Hmm. Okay, well, here's one. Here's another one, very similar to the one I drew, but it's easier to see because it's larger. And you do see the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points on the triangle or not on the triangle, but on, the constructions aren't showing. The Y would have been on the perpendicular coming from B down to AC. They're just not showing those lines, but the nine points will end up on a circle. All right. And there's also another thing that's going to happen. If you used a right angle triangle, or if you used an equilateral triangle, so some of the key points in the nine point circle construction of a right triangle or an equilateral triangle will coincide with each other. So the nine points, there will be nine points, but one point might be on top of another point. There were nine construction points, but two points might share the same location on the circle. Okay. And last page brings us to the end of lesson 31. Go do your problem set.